All right, how's everyone doing? Uh, today we're just going to go over a real simple project. Um, it's good to be able to do this, especially when you have like a verification test that you're trying to accomplish and you want to see how different parts of the network react and you want to capture pack packets along the way. So the way that we kind of do this, um, here in this topology, I've made it real simple. Uh, I've got two endpoints, my SVRP and my GEPRP. Um, <clears throat> and then I have what is, you know, simulated HAPI. So all this is is really just uh, an IPsec tunnel that's end-to-end. Uh, -end. And then we have some routing on the, uh, the WAN side, if you will, or the black side. So um, in this case, uh, it looks like everything is, you know, basically just running connected direct in line. But in reality, we have a Cisco switch that... Um, is more or less representing how we're going to do this uh, and then we have our one capture uh, workstation which is just a Linux uh, VM and what you know in, in a modeled environment all I have to do is just you know come here and then right click and start to capture but I don't want to do that I want to be able to capture at different points of the network and I want to see it on one machine um, and in reality if you had physical devices and you want to do this step by step and you didn't have a switch, then you'd have to put a tap here, a tap here, here, and et cetera. And then you'd have to have computer workstations that capture along the way. We don't want that because it's not practical and it uh, kind of is a waste of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, spanning ports. And those spanning ports will allow us to set our capture points. And then we're going to be able to replicate those interfaces all over here to a Linux machine. And one thing I want to point out real quick is on this Linux machine, um, I have two interfaces, so two NICs, if you will. But the only one we're really concerned with is ENS3. Um, now, you, this is applicable on Windows as well. Um, most interfaces, network interfaces, uh, are designed to handle layer 3 traffic, so your IP addressing, right? Um, but we don't want that. We want to be able to do it passively and we're going to sniff. So inside of Linux, what we would do is essentially set, we don't have IPv4, uh, we don't have DNS or any routes or anything like that. We're going to be share two other computers in this instance. All right. And on Windows, you, all you're going to do is just unclick the IPv4 uh, setting on your network interface card to make it passive. All right. Uh, so in this case you can see it's ENS3 uh, and then from here I was able to kind of identify this as a passive interface and then here is our span interface so the way that we prove that out is on our capture switch uh, as you can see once we actually get into it um, we'll do a uh, I've already configured this uh, for monitoring but you'll see the commands when I pull them up here in a minute so uh, so here we have we have monitor session source which in this case we have gigabit 03 uh, which is correlated up here on our capture number one and then our destination is uh, gigabit 32 which is where we're going to replicate that and in this case 32 is this guy right here our span interface which connects to our capture workstation alright so to begin, um, we're going to start with capture point number one, and that is our uh, gigabit 03. So basically, what that indicates if this was um, a realistic uh, diagram. So the way that I have this here is everything looks like it's all connected in line, right? But that's not the case, all right? Really, it's all connected to this switch. So if I uh, move these around, you can see I have all of these are connected to that one single switch so that switch is doing a lot all right but allows it allows us to capture so uh, I'll pull up that switch real quick and then I'll pull our capture workstation up and then from here I'm gonna open Wireshark I did have to install Wireshark onto this computer so that's an additional step and I'm sure you uh, know how to do that by now but ENS3 like we had just talked about uh, you can see we have traffic already coming coming across it. The reason that is is because um, I do have OSPF running on these two routers. 
um, just for simp simplistic view of how traffic will translate or transmit and be able to be sent and received. So we'll pull up ENS3 and all I'm going to use in this um, uh, topology is just uh, ICMP. We'll just do pings and that's going to enable us to see. So as you can see I have my OSPF hellos. They get sent out regardless. Uh, but what we're mostly concerned with here is ICMP, so I'll go ahead and do a filter for that. Again, we're capturing on this interface between our SVRP and our, our HAPI. So um, what I'm going to do is from our SVRP, and this is just a terminal to get to it, I'm going to ping across the network to get to the GEP RP, and in, in this case it's, its IP address is 2.2.2.2. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start that and as we can see we're already getting our traffic here so 2.2.2.2 and we're getting our ICMP request and we're getting our replies and we can go ahead and look at this uh, just like we would any other traffic um, just enables us to verify that those pings are in fact succeeding um, so we'll go ahead and stop that ping and we will move on to a different captured interface all right, we're going to be using that host a lot here, though. All right, so our second capture is we want our uh, capture point here uh, between our HAPI. So with that being said, what we have to do is just a simple command on our switch. Um, we're going to take this. We're going to get into global config, and then we will execute a no with that. All right and then we're going to change the interface to interface 2. All right, so if I do a do show run type include monitor, now I can see it's capturing on interface 2. All right, so we'll come back here to our uh, endpoint host, and we'll go ahead and execute that one more time. All right, and as you can see, we are not getting any IP traffic, all right, because that is not the interface that we are capturing on. All right, but if we negate this, what we can see now is our traffic is encrypted, and that's what we want because we have inside of this, we have a tunnel from our uh, HAPI here that is peered with a tunnel on our opposite side. So yes, we should see encrypted traffic. All right, that is what we want to see. All right, um, so if I did a, uh, uh, a filter for ESP and enter, now we can see that ESP traffic. So if we look, um, our source interface was um, 20.1.1.1 over to the um, remote interface which is 10. All right so here here's our source and our destination and as we can see uh, we do in fact have that encapsulating security payload. So we can see that our traffic is in fact encrypted. All right now essentially if I did that here on capture point 3 and capture point four, you're gonna see the same thing because all of that traffic on the black side is in fact encrypted. So all we should expect to see is our ESP traffic. All right, but do keep in mind if you are using uh, routing protocols, you are going to see some of that traffic specific to, uh, in this case, we're using OSPF. So we are seeing those OSPF hellos. All right, so that's something that will be seen and can be seen. And uh, we have to keep that in mind um, when we're running routing protocols on our black side of our network. But as we can see, this single capture workstation is able to uh, capture at different points throughout the network. And again, this is extremely handy uh, when you have larger verification tests that you're having to deal with. You have a multitude of equipment that's set up and you need to be able to capture along the way and you don't want to move and remove a tap every time that you want to capture on a different interface as you're going along. So it just makes it a lot easier. Um, and I hope this video serves you well uh, because this is a pretty simple setup. It can be pretty low cost, especially you don't need much uh, as far as eccentric software running on a, a managed switch. So you'll be able to use 
uh, a switch in order to capture that traffic as it goes along. All right. So uh, thank you and uh, more to follow.